Hi friends, so here's my outfit for today. So I have a green bomber jacket from Marshalls, a red flannel from a and &E, a red and white, or black and white striped tank, I want to say from like Ross or something. Leggings from Columbia, they have like the silver stuff, and brown boots from Marshalls. Call my Lyft drive to go to Extracto Coffee. So here is my veggie hash with the little bit of leftover field roast stuffed butternut squash and veggie roast. And then there was also a little bit of tiny bit of daya cheese left. So I have white potato, green apple, sweet potato, butternut squash, cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, ginger, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, salt and some red pepper flake and then I cooked it all up until it was nice and tender and hot and I am going to add it to our to a tortilla and have this be a veggie hash burrito this is one of my food favorites which is chili lime kettle chips and they don't taste like chili lime for some reason they taste like sour cream and onion, but I'm not complaining. Here is my smoothie. I did a little bit of raspberries, um, pineapple, peaches, cherries, and mango. Or no, maybe it was just mango and not peaches. And then I added some vanilla coconut milk and the rest of my Twinnings English breakfast latte from yesterday which had coconut milk in it, vanilla coconut milk. And then I also added some cinnamon. So it will be a nice Seven o'clock, and Good Morning America is on. Um, just day after the election, and I actually wasn't quite sure to vote for. Um, so I um, just voted for who I thought would be best, and the things that um, I thought would be best for me and my family, but I always never really know who to vote for because I feel like sometimes candidates just say stuff and then you have no clue if they're actually going to do that when they get elected. I know that some people might not like what happened, but I feel like the best thing to do is to try and just do the best that you can where you live in your own community and that will help. Um, so I hope everyone decides to do that, to keep doing their best and making an impact in their community and being nice to everyone. Watch HGTV's Tiny House Hunters. This one is um, really interesting. I 
love house hunters um, just because I'm curious like what type of houses are out. Do you guys like HGTV shows? Well, they're in Los Angeles. I'm curious what they're gonna find in Los Angeles. To drink a Earl Grey tea latte because I ran out of Earl Grey tea, and it is so far my favorite new tea for the fall time. And I just add some vanilla coconut milk, so I'm gonna drink that and eat breakfast and watch this show. So here's what I got from Ulta the other day. I got this Shea Moisture Shampoo. It's the African Water Mint and Ginger Shampoo. And I was told by the hairstylist at Ulta, even though it is for wavy curly hair. She said it's basically just kind of like a selling tactic and it doesn't really matter if you don't have curly hair, which I don't. And I rebought this face wash because they didn't have my current one. I normally like Alafia African Black Soap, the Tangerine Citrus one, which is a lot better deal because this one by Pacifica is good and I've had it before five ounces and it was like ten dollars and the Alafia one is probably at least 20 ounces for like eight bucks so but I didn't think that I would be going to the store soon so I decided to get that one and I decided to try this Pacifica kale water so it's a, just a micellar water and because I've tried the simple one and I just thought it was okay, so I just thought I would pick this one up. So that's what I got from um, Ulta. And I'm hoping that I really like the shampoo because I'm out of shampoo. But currently right now I have the Chi um, Blackberry and Coconut Milk shampoo, I think it is. So I still have conditioner, but I'm out of shampoo. So I thought this shampoo sounded really refreshing and um, I'm excited to try it later today. And I also got these jeans from Nordstrom Rack. They are the Nordstrom brand. I think it's Calson and the price was originally $79 and I got them for $29.97 and they were on clearance. So I'm really excited. Um, I don't know what red cordovan means. Maybe it is just the color. But I like that it's kind of like a like muted maroon color. And these are also skinny jeans. So they're a little bit too long like most jeans are for me. But um, I think I might just roll them like that and I think that they will look really good with my new boots or my brown boots from Marshalls. And they are nice and soft and thin but they're um, a little bit bigger than like my blue jeans that are skinny which are a little bit too tight so these ones are a lot better. Um, they go up pretty high, which is nice, so they're kind of like mid-rise. And they're just nice, a nice fit so far, so they're not like super tight, but they're not super loose. So, so it is time to now try and set up my Chippewa. And it looks pretty easy, I just have to figure out what to delete off of my phone so I have space to download the Chippewa app. And it's great that you can use it from your phone to find your keys, or it says you can also track your phone by shaking the Chippewa. So that's always nice and somehow it'll help your phone to ring. And I think you can also somehow help it track your wallet. I'm not totally sure how to make it do all those things, 
but I know for sure how to do the phone and then I think the keys will be pretty easy. The President Elect is on TV and I can't believe it. Dominic Dawes just wanted to follow me on Instagram, so that was surreal. But um, I'm gonna finish watching this. So I'm going to watch Sean Johnson's tour bus video and I highly recommend her channel. She does vlogs with her husband Andrew. They're really good and they're funny. Um, so this is just a surreal moment for me because as I said Dominic Dawes just asked to follow me on Instagram and it was my main Instagram so I was never expecting that I would have a celebrity and also an Olympian ask to follow me. So that just brightened up my day and I'm not even sure how she found my Instagram. I mean, I know I, I do follow her and I like some of her photos, but I don't do gymnastics or anything. So I think it's just really cool. Um, Maybe she's just following some people that have followed her, but either way, it's really cool, and um, I hope everyone is having a good morning, and so I'm hoping that later I can call the salon that I just decided to start going to after I got my hair cut, Zuzu in Portland. Um, I'm gonna call to see if maybe I can make a hair appointment to dye my hair uh, in the next couple days before they close for the week. Um, so they close on Sunday and Monday, so I'm hoping that maybe I can get an appointment. Probably not today, but maybe tomorrow before they close and also um, maybe on Saturday before I have family party to go to. So here it is. I highly recommend you guys to go follow her. She posts some cute pictures of her family and motivational stuff. So I still can't believe that this happened this morning. Um, just because, you know, if you see, she has 13.2 thousand followers. And so that's a lot of people. So I am um, just going to be excited about this moment and finish watching my video.